much again for joining me. Um, so today's video is going to be on the comfort flight bag or pouch that I have created for long haul flights that I also take with me on short flights because, you know, it has everything that I pretty much need for a short trip. So, um, but this will give you, provide everything that you need for comfort on a long haul flight so that you have everything at your fingertips just in case you need it. All right. So, uh, the bag that I use for this is from Bag Smart. You can get this on Amazon. It comes on in a lot of different colors, but as you know, my favorite color is black, so I get everything I possibly can in either black or blue. So um, this is the large one, and this I use for a lot of other things, but I don't use this for my flight bag because this will not fit in my personal bag. So I use this middle one here, which is much smaller, and it's compact, it squishes, and it fits in my personal backpack. Uh, that goes under the seat quite well. All right, so let's go ahead and open her up and get started. And I'll show you what I have in here and I will also leave a list in the description, YouTube channel, the, the video description of uh, everything that I have in here. Okay, so here we go. So she opens up like so and she has a really great hook to hang up on a door as well if you know in your hotel room or whatever airbnb wherever you're staying so this is um it's quite large and again it folds very very nicely and compresses which is lovely um, and it protects everything that you need um i don't have a lot of liquids in here uh, the liquids i pretty much put in a separate pouch that go in my carry-on that goes um above the overhead compartment um, this just goes in my personal under the seat bag. So as far as anything else, you know, that I need to pack, I will put in my carry on. But this is what I actually hang on the back of the tray table. Um, it would go like in front of the entertainment screen. If there is one there, if I need anything in here, um, a lot of the stuff, these items you can get on Amazon. I will try to. Uh, put descriptions down. I can't really put, I'm not affiliated with Amazon. I can't really get the links in there. Um, even if I try and copy and paste them for some reason, it's not working for me. So I will just put the descriptions of each of them if you didn't want to also find them on Amazon. Okay. So on this very top portion here, oh, once again, this is not my idea at all. I totally bogarted this from another brilliant YouTuber who is known for all of her organizational skills and she has a bunch of these type of pou uh, pouches and um, tools that she uses for her home um, as well as flights. So when I saw her video on the flight pouch, I thought I have to do this for myself and it has worked out brilliantly on most of my flights. I haven't been doing this for very long, but I have used a flight pouch probably for my last four flights and I'm so happy. I will never, ever, ever be without them again. In this very top um, section here, is what I need uh, quickly um, or what I would maybe need most. So in this top I have uh, vitamin E, um, just, you know, like chapstick lip balm, you know, vitamin E, um, because the, the plane's air gets, dries out your skin and everything feels super, super dry. So I always keep lip balm with me. I also have my ear, um, earbud, they're not earbuds, what are these? These are for um, when your ears clog, when they get plugged up and the air pressure, you stick these in your ears and there's an app that links to your phone that lets you know when to put them in, when to take them out to help um, equal out the air pressure and it helps your ears if you have uh, you know any pain with that or if your ears have trouble popping, these are a godsend. I love them. I've been using them for a couple of years now and I never ever get on a flight without them. So I have these. What um, I don't have in here is a packet of gum. I always keep gum in this top one as well, but uh, my husband and I, we chewed all of it. <laughs> so I have to replace it. Uh, so that's on the list uh, to replace it. In this tiny little um, pouch here, I, uh, these tiny little zipper, um, plastic pouches, I can, you can also get on Amazon. Um, and this is for airborne. So these are chewable airborne's that I always pop, um, an hour before I go to the airport. Um, anything, you know, uh, we, we wear masks on the plane still, uh, now here in Europe, we still wear masks on the Metro. 
Um, if we were going to be crammed in with a lot of people, with the public, uh, we don't take any chances with cold, flu, respiratory illnesses. There's a lot going on ar and around here in Europe right now, so we don't take any chances. We um, make sure that our immune system, as you know, we give it as much support as we possibly can give it. So this is airborne here. And then I also have um, lens wipes. These are, you know, for your eyeglasses, for your computer screen. I get these off the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. You can find those there. I'm sure you can also find them on Amazon if you wanted to. Here's another uh, form of that. I have eye drops. These are just the Refresh brand eye drops. They peel off and you can just boop, boop, boop. Um, because my eyes get super dry and I did have LASIK eye surgery. So my eyes are still sensitive to a lot of things, the sunlight and um, air. So um, I have, I always keep eye drops handy with me, especially uh, with the recycled air that dries out your skin in the airplanes. I definitely need those. You always need a pen. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, you always need a pen. Keep one in your jack jacket, keep one in your um, day bag, keep one in your carry-on, keep one in this pouch, keep one in, you know, the, um, the travel document holder that you keep your passports in, always, always have a pen with you. Um, you always end up needing one when you don't have one and it's a nightmare. So I also have some headache medication. Um, for whatever reason, you know, it's just nice to have that handy. So I always have that um, there as well. And then these I got from Amazon and these um, are essential oil sniffers, I guess. Um, there's no liquid in them, but there's a hole in there that has essential oils on the inside and you literally stick it up your nose. So, and um, this one is energy and this one is balance. So one smells like lavender, the other one smells like peppermint. And it just helps calm you down if you're sitting next to a loud snore or a screaming baby or something like that. It just helps keep everything zen and calm, which we really need, especially on a cramped flight. And last but not least, I have my C-bands. Um, for anyone who gets motion sickness, seasickness, um, if you're riding in a car and you get car sick, these are amazing. You put one on each wrist and it really helps to, not really sure how these work, I just know that they do work. It's for nausea relief. So C-bands, I got these at a pharmacy. I think it may have been Walgreens or Rite Aid. I'm not really sure, but you can also get them on Amazon. So these are called C-bands and they're amazing. Okay, so the top one is now empty. With all this on the table, we're gonna go now for the, to the second pouch. In the second pouch, I have something called um, the person, personal toilet kit, which is phenomenal. Sometimes you end up in a bathroom, whether it's a restaurant. I keep one of these in my personal day um, bag as well, um, my crossbody bag. Um, I keep the contents, not the whole package, but the contents in my day bag because it includes toilet paper, a glove, wet wipes for nether regions. And I also stick in here, um, it has an alcohol swab, and I also stick a travel poopery in here because, you know, ladies, we would like to keep things as, <laughs> as you know, tidy as possible. And we don't want any, you know, for someone to go into the restroom after us and, you know, we have left them with a present. So I always keep poopery's, poopery. Um, you can also get this in a set of, I think, four on Amazon. So I keep this um, with as well, especially if you're like going to someone's house or whatever, you just, you know, want to keep everything as cool as possible. So yes, this is great. It comes with all of, you know, the wipes and the toilet paper and a toilet seat cover. Amazing. Got these on Amazon. I think it's a set of three. I'll never leave home without the contents of that again. I've been to restaurants before where they've completely run out of toilet paper and oh my goodness, I was so happy that I had the contents. I had some left over and I handed the rest of what I had to the girl going into the restroom after me because, um, you know, power to the she, you gotta help out the, the sisterhood. So <laughs> I didn't want her to be in the same predicament I was, so I helped her out. I also have throat spray, um, which is wonderful, especially with the dry air of the plane flight. And um, this is just Propolis throat spray, I think Beekeepers Naturals. Not really sure if you can get this on Amazon, but you can find it at any health store, uh, health food store. I think I probably get, got this through like FabFitFun or something. Um, 
Dollar Tree, I have a first aid kit in here. In here, I've got band-aids, alcohol swabs, and little packets of, I think, Neosporin or um, some sort of antibiotic. But you don't know if you're going to get a paper cut or something, you know, you're, you're going to be eating something, something cuts you, or you form a blister all of a sudden. Who knows? Who knows? It's just really, really nice to have a first aid kit. Um, so I always keep one in here just in case. And who knows what's going to happen with one of your neighbors. I like to be prepared and make sure that I have something for them as well. I also keep a packet of wet wipes in here. I have um, some Ricola lozenges. Uh, again, um, for the same reason as this, just dry throat. Um, and I'm a huge talker. I don't know if you could tell that about me, but I really like to... I'm that girl who is more than willing to chat up a neighbor on an airplane. If I don't see the signs that they'd rather be left alone, I can also read a room. So, um, but if not, I keep everything to, you know, I, I keep things on me to keep the throat um, from going dry. And then I also have some snacks here. So I've got some fruit snacks and then I've got some, it looks like dehydration relief, just packets for water for electrolytes, so I have some of those in here as well. You can keep a granola bar, you can keep whatever you want in here, just something quick and easy um, to snack on. Okay, so that is this second pouch here. In this pouch um, right here. Oh, I also forgot I also keep emergency as well for water. Um, in my backpack, I completely forgot to mention it, but I keep a silicone water bottle that actually scrunches all the way down and has a rubber band that ties and it. It's probably about that thick. And I keep that to fill up at uh, the airport water stations. Um, and so if for some reason you feel something coming on or you hear a lot of sneezing and coughing around you, here's an emergency. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, uh, grab and go items in here that will help, you know, keep you safe and keep you well. I keep a silk eye mask in here or a satin eye mask for uh, those flights when I just need to get some extra rest and I don't want all the lights from the, the plane or all the windows that are up and the sunshine's coming in. If I need some rest, I have a sleep mask. I also have two types of uh, face masks as well. Um, I don't know, the, the rules for the airlines are changing all the time in regards to whether or not you need masks, but I, I always wear them. Um, in fact, I don't know why it's not a rule, especially when you're crammed in with so many people uh, and there's a lot of coughing and sneezing going on. It just makes me feel a little bit um, extra protective. So I always keep those. I keep a scrunchie to pull my hair back if I need to. Now this scrunchie is also part of, um, going to be part of my anti-theft video because I don't know if you can see that little white zipper right there, but this has a compartment where you can put things in. So um, if you are out and about um, and you want to hide your key, your money, coins, anything like that, you can hide them in your scrunchie, wear it in your hair, and no one is the wiser. You can wear it around your wrist. Wrist, it just looks like a scrunchie. If you're concerned about the white part of the zipper, you can Sharpie it black. It's not a big deal. Um, so I love this and I keep that around for function as well as for um, hiding things that I need to hide. And I also have another little plastic um, packet of rubber bands as well um, for my hair to keep it back. I have a back scratcher that I get at the Dollar Tree um, because, you know, backs itch and if my husband's sleeping, I can't bug him to scratch my back. So I have a back scratcher. I have tweezers. I keep a fan as well. Um, in my last video, you can see the actual pink fan that I have that's electronic and also a portable charger for your phone. This is just because this one says Porto, uh, which is where I'm currently living in Portugal. Um, but I do keep a fan just in case for whatever reason. It's just good to have. It's compact and it fits. So I keep it in there. I have a nail file. I have two essential oil rollers. These I'm pretty sure I just got out of a grocery store. One is lavender and one is peppermint. I use them for the same reasons why I sniff the other essential oils, just for calmness and because they smell good sometimes, you know. Um, a lot of individuals are sensitive on planes to perfume, so I don't wear any perfume or any 
uh, fragrant lotion on the planes, but for some reason the essential oils don't seem to bother a lot of people. If I know that I am around a pet or if I'm sitting with someone that has a pet, I will not use essential oils around them because um, it can be harmful to pets and or they're sensitive to them. So be sensitive to that knowledge of knowing about pets and just kind of, you know, um, survey your surroundings and know um, who you're sitting next to. So um, I also keep a tiny travel deodorant because those long haul flights, y'all, my goodness, after a while you start, you start feeling ripe and you just need some hygiene. So we're going to get into the other hygiene items that I have in here um, just to keep yourself feeling fresh and good and because, you know, by the time you land, all you want is a nap and a meal and a shower. But um, deodorant, it definitely helps with that. So we've got that. I've got a Tide stick because I drop everything. I have a hole in my lip. Everything falls on my shirt for some reason. And so I keep a Tide stick um, to help out with those little messes. I've got Kleenex. I've got a tiny little travel vial of sunscreen um, that I wear, especially if I'm near a window. I have very fair skin and I freckle easy. Um, and so in order to keep um, my skin protected from the UV rays, which are, you're actually higher up in the sky, closer to the sun. So I'm always with SPF and never without it. So especially on an airplane, if I know I'm going to be having a window seat, I always keep it on me. I have um, a little travel lotion that I got at the Dollar Tree um, because again, the air in the, in the flights are just so dry and it's recycled air. So I just try to stay as hydrated as possible. And then this is also a mirror and a brush. So if I open this up, it has a mirror and a little brush. So um, I keep that with me just to kind of make sure that my flyaways are always tamed, which is impossible to do because I have flyaways in this video, but it is what it is. You're just gonna have to love me for my personality and not my hair. So anyway, that is what I have on in this section here. And then in this bottom section, this is my hygiene section. So I have some pressed wisps. Is that what they're called? They're like the little mini toothbrushes that you don't need water for. That's to keep your breath fresh. Um, I do have some um, dental floss sticks. And I know they're not great for the environment, but in, in regards to traveling, you don't want to be caught flossing. That's just not uh, socially acceptable. So if you do need to get something out of your teeth and you don't have a toothpick around or something like that, I do keep these floss sticks with me. I got these at, I think, Walmart um, in the travel section. So, but they, they do come in very handy. Um, I have in here, I've got blotting papers. I've got these handy soap sheets because sometimes bathrooms run out of soap. I'm sure all of you have experienced that, just like they run out of toilet paper. So I always keep one of these in my personal bag as well with, um, in here. I, again, I don't, I don't usually take this whole bag. I just take, I pull out the contents of whatever I need or think I'll need. And it usually includes the soap sheets. You just grab a sheet, you run it under water and you can wash your hands and they're really, really great. Super compact. They fit on the floor. They also fit in your shirt, wherever you want to put them. So they're really very handy. I have these trip wipes. Um, they're basically just extra wipes like the, like these, um, but they came in a package of something. And so I just keep them in here just in case I need them. As soon as I get on the plane, the first thing I do is I clean my, my seatbelt. I clean the tray tables, the whole area around me. I wipe the seat um, behind me and I clean around the window. Um, I also clean the uh, where the air comes out of and the light on the very top. I clean those as well because a lot of fingers are on them and I don't know when they get wiped down. So my whole area, the armrests, everything, I use a couple of these or a few of these and I keep everything super clean. So last but not least, I have this. This is my... Um, my, my female packet basically on the go. And I also got this idea from the YouTuber who handles all the organization pouches. I just thought it was brilliant. So I created one of my own. And so in here I've got um, Summer's Eve wipes. I have a panty liner. 
I have some tampons, another panty liner in here, which is also great if you want to hide money. So if you don't want to use a panty line, liner in here, you can actually hide money in here, re tape it up, and no one's the wiser. Um, another good anti-theft trick, actually. And another anti-theft tr th theft trick is if you want to empty this out and pull, when you're done with it, you can pull the cartridge out and you can hide money in here as well. And everyone just thinks it's deodorant. And same with this. Once you're done with this, you can empty it out, hide money in it, close it, and everyone thinks it's just lozenges. No one's the wiser. Super great. I also have an extra pair of underwear in here and there's some extra panty liners, but that is what I keep. You never know when you're gonna have, you know, mother nature decides to ring your doorbell. It could be on an airplane. At an airport, you just have no idea. But when all of a sudden you, you realize that something's not right down there, you may need this with you. So I always just keep it. Um, and I just, I don't know where I got this, but I think I just bogarted it from something else I bought and I thought it was nice and handy and compact and it fits all of those items. So that's what I keep on here. That is my long haul flight comfort pouch. This is everything that I have that I would need um, that I could think of. If there's anything else that you can think of that you think I should add in here, and trust me, there's a lot more room um, for me to add things in, I'm more than happy to do that. So, and I would love to know what those are. So if you have any other ideas, please let me know. Hopefully this gave you some ideas. Hopefully if you would like to um, create one for yourself, it's great on road trips, it's great on flights, it's great for any overnight, um, you know, excursion that you might have. So if you thought this was a great idea, then wonderful. I'm so glad it posed helpful. So thank you again for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, please comment below. Thanks. Have a good one.